I offer personal readings same day for $33 and next day for $17. Check the description box below for details of how to book and subscribe to my bonus tarot channel at Val444Tarot and my vlog channel at Val Smib. Thank you. Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot and we're just going to jump into your Capricorn and see what's going on with who you're dealing with, what are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you, okay? Now keep in mind this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with all of you but for more readings after this please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at sidekick tarot and um, I have a bonus channel for you at val444 tarot. I offer personal readings and I do have a vlog channel if you'd like to check that out at Val Smib. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you, Capricorn. interesting Capricorn I think you have like a secret admirer in the workplace or like maybe this is a friend that wants to be with you because I mean there's two storylines I get here yeah yeah they either want to be with you really freaking bad or they're already in a relationship with you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Both storylines. So this could be a friend or a coworker that like, you know what I mean? Have they have had they had the only thing I can't even talk. Have a have have a <laughs> Maybe this is how they feel about you. It's like they haven't had a chance to express to you how they feel or this is someone you are in a marriage or relationship with. So either or here. They start out reflecting and understanding what's going on between the two of you. How they feel, all those changes and whatever they're working on with themselves. Then that's made them realize there's something. I don't know if you've blocked them already before or something. You guys have had your thing. I don't know. It's kind of like they feel blocked off. They feel very confused and indecisive because they don't know what to do. That's caused them to kind of be in this energy where um, there's a choice they need to make that they don't want to make about you and them. That's caused them to feel very irritated and frustrated and impatient with you. And then they go cold. Then they get really pissed off and cold and aggressive and just kind of think very negatively about you. Because in their mind, for them, it makes them not want to walk away from you. Especially financially. You know what I mean? Especially if you guys do business together or something here. But it's like they don't want to walk away from you because... They do have new love for you, okay? So whether it's they realize they're in love with you or they've always wanted to be with you or, you know what I mean, 
you guys are in a relationship already you had your problems but they realize they still have so much love for you and they want to stay committed to you or this person is in love with you wants to be with you and wants to be in a relationship with you either or it kind of seems like it might well either or here because i mean there's people in relationships who stalk each other anyway so either or because right after that like right after the fact that they want to be in a relationship with you or they are in one with you that's what causes them to get obsessive and spy lurk and creep okay and like try to get information on you and about you and get a little bit like obsessive and manipulative and very fanatic kind of energy then that's caused them for some reason to like not really want to be independent and on their own and work really hard for their own stuff business money wealth whatever it is and maybe be financially dependent on you somehow that then has caused them to realize now now they're emotional with you emotionally unhappy now they're not you know now they're mad at you now they're upset with you now they're not really feeling too lovey-dovey or whatever it is or they like you they don't like you now but they still want to invest with you and work with you especially financially and make things happen with you but them putting in all that work and effort in the right way that they're doing with themselves and with you is what's caused them to not really have the strength to still say something or do something or face a challenge of some sort. Now, that though is made them realize that they are emotionally connected to you and they want to be with you. Okay? Um, and they're willing to fight for you too. And I don't know if they've expressed this to you or have told you this, or they're just very clear and aware as to how they feel and what they want to do. And so that's made them kind of get a little bit aggressive in the workplace with their own business, money, wealth status. Like their ego's gotten the best of them now. Now they feel out of control. You know, now they're a bit irritated and annoyed. And so it's either they not only like they want to work with you so bad and maybe you guys don't work together or because they're not getting their way, especially if this is marriage or relationship, they definitely are going to try to, you know, stall and find ways to not work literally or just have you do all the work. And, you know, they don't really do that much, you know, either or here because it's kind of like they want to work with you and collaborate with you, and make things happen with you in an energy where like you still do it all and they don't have to do that much, okay? Unless for this person who has a huge fat crush on you, they know it's not good for the workplace, either or here, okay? Because like I said, this is someone that wants to be with you really bad, okay? And they're going through it or, you know, they already are in a marriage or relationship with you. Now at the end here, it looks like here that they're still willing to basically slowly but surely head towards you and approach you in some way, shape, or form. Okay. So. Let's see here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no, literally. This is someone that's on. Okay, so I'm going to. Hmm, well, here's the thing. <laughs> Jeez. I think this person wants to be with you. I don't, uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, only you'll resonate, you know, with whoever, but however, like the, you only you'll know if you're in a marriage or relationship with them or you know, like you're single, they're single, but they want to be with you bad because them slowly but surely like working hard towards building something here and heading towards you and approaching you is what put them in the energy of wanting to be more with themselves, focus on themselves, be more independent, sit with themselves in solitude, gain a lot of wisdom and knowledge about the two of you in a sense and then also maybe go to therapy go to counseling go to teachers guides you know get guidance to figure out what to do and that's caused them to realize they have a lot of love for you or they like you or they have a crush on you and they want to tell you this for some of you i mean maybe you guys have kids or there's a baby on the way or something or you guys have a child okay and that's only for you guys if you're, if you're in a relationship or not but like still i really kind of get more of the sense this is someone that wants to be with you so freaking bad all right, so don't know who that could be to you or the friend or whatever, but like, yeah, that's what I got for you here. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, thank you. Bye.